Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a fun little day in the life. I thought we would get ready and go to work together. I need to hit the gym and then I wanted to clean out my closet and I thought it'd just be fun to take you guys along with me. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I love to do all things homemaking and I'd love it if you would subscribe. And if you're returning, it's so great to see you. Okay, let's jump into this beautiful day. This particular morning, I got up super early to do a little bit of bone broth making. Please don't worry about that um, coffee maker. I unplug it all the time, so the time's never set. I, I don't know what time it was at this particular point, probably around five o'clock, but I wanted to get uh, the bone broth done for the day, and then I'm also gonna make some waffles for the kids. I ended up making these and then freezing a couple extras. If you wanna give this video a thumbs up, Tuna would love it. She is hanging out with me in the kitchen today and she says good morning. I was done getting all of the breakfast prepped for the kids I went ahead and got ready uh, one of my kids hung out with me in uh, my bathroom and closet while I was getting my hair and makeup done so I skipped that part but let's see what I'm gonna wear to work okay here is another stitch fix top and leggings I love these leggings you can't tell but there's like this really classic piping and I like that this um, ties around I just think it really gives a beautiful silhouette super classic and then I've got some nice shoes on, light jewelry, and we're off to work. These days I've been trying to get up to work around 8 a.m. So I leave pretty early. I'm working on many new projects. I share some of it over on my Instagram from time to time, but if you're new here, I am an executive at a winery here in Napa Valley. And um, I got a lot of projects for 2024. But after that, I like to head to the gym, trying to keep everything in shape and where it's supposed to be. I was excited when I got home though that my Stitch Fix came. So I thought I would share it with you. I actually share my Stitch Fix on here all the time. This particular one is being sponsored by Stitch Fix, which was just amazing when they reached out. I was so excited. But um, I actually, uh, today was my 65th stitch. That's how long I've been using Stitch Fix. And I also get it from my daughters as well. My boys don't really need it, but um, I like to give the girls kind of some fun outfits. I don't know that I've shared one of their stitches, but I will. If you aren't familiar with Stitch Fix, they offer personal styling for men, women, and kids that evolves your tastes, needs, and lifestyles. Stitch Fix makes it fun to discover styles that are right for you by combining technology with a personal touch of a seasoned stylist. Basically how it works is you take a quick quiz where Stitch Fix learns what you love, what kind of style you have, or what kind of style you're going for. Then they will give you a Stitch Fix stylist that will send you five different pieces that reflect your style, fit, price points and they give you styling guidelines which I always really like um, so you can be really versatile with what you purchase and then you can request a fix at any time no subscription is required you just pay $20 to have your fix curated by your personal stylist and you can actually use that $20 to apply to anything you purchase they have free shipping in return so you keep what you love send back the rest for free just use your prepaid envelope and drop it at USPS. Stitch Fix makes it fun to discover styles. I love that I can pick the fit that works best for my age and my style preference. It's really easy. My stylist will send me some options. I can pick a few or just be totally surprised. If you wanna change up your stylist, you can. It's really fun and super easy to do. For this style, I wanted to go, I am really trying to elevate my style to be very classic for work and my stylist helps me with the perfect pieces I can't wait to show you them so if you want to join me and try stitch fix so you can try before you buy again there's no subscription required they carry over 1,000 brands and styles women's sizes extra small to 3x and I just find them to be a great saver of time while still being able to elevate my style for work 
Today, Stitch Fix is inviting you guys to join me over there and schedule your first fix. I want to thank Stitch Fix for not only sponsoring today's video, but always providing me with a beautiful new affordable outfits that I can wear not only to work out, but to go to work and hang out around the house. Okay, let me show you what I picked up. Okay guys, so the first outfit I paired are these bootcut jeans, which are adorable. Fruccio loves it. He already wants to come and play. <laughs> no. um, these are really cute. I haven't had a pair of bootcut jeans in a long time, but you guys know I just cleaned out my closet, so I wanted to add some more kind of traditional jeans. I'm getting rid of all of my skinny jeans, and these are the perfect color. I love this dark blue. It is so pretty, and I'm so grateful they did a um, high waisted. I just feel like it just makes it elongates the waist, so it makes you look a little slimmer, which is always a friend of mine. And then this sweater, which I love this color. It's one of my favorites. I really love blushes and greens every now and then like a pop of red. But again, as you guys know, I am wanting to upgrade my style to be just a little more conservative and age appropriate as I am getting ready to be in my 40s. I'm so excited to just kind of let go of that 20s vibe, <laughs> 30s vibe and go with something like this. So this is the first outfit. I thought this would be really cute to pair with some boots. You could also do some flats with these. I do a lot of my, um, a lot of times I wear like loafers and stuff to work, so you could do that as well. But I thought this was very cute. You could even do this with a cute white tee. These are timeless and adorable, and I just love the fit. And this top you could even do with some leather leggings and some kind of, I love that knee-high suede boot. I just like the juxtaposition between the suede and the leather. So if you have that with this, um, it's kind of that perfect cut where it kind of like, uh, goes a little bit over the butt, which I like, but also kind of allows you to tuck it in in the front. I love the neck. It's not too annoying. So during the day at work, it's not bothering me. It's very loose and this fabric is so soft. Okay, I'll show you guys the next outfit. Okay, next look is this beautiful satin pleated dress. I have a very similar one. It's not pleated, but I've always wanted a pleated one with this gorgeous contour top. I love this when they kind of use different stitching and things to accentuate parts of your body. I just think this is really beautiful. This is a great thing for work with a simple little blouse and some kitten heels or stilettos. I think that that uh, green sweater would also be very cute with this. I just find it to be so beautiful. I would never ever find something like this. I wouldn't have the time to kind of go out and find something this beautiful. This you could wear to a party, you could wear this out to dinner, and you could definitely wear this for work. I love this. I love this top as well. You guys will definitely be seeing a lot of this um, this fall. I have so many tops that will go well with this. This top is also from Stitch Fix as well, and I just think it's so beautiful. It's versatile, I can wear it with the jeans, I can wear it with shorts in the summertime. It's very thin, but I also like that the arms are really long, so I can stay nice and warm. And this dress just makes me, or this skirt just makes me feel so beautiful, and it's right up my alley. What do you guys think, you like it? You like it, Tuna? Yeah? Oh my God, they're so funny. You guys wanna be a part of it? Fruit shoe does for sure. Hi, Rooch. Let's say hi. Yeah. Anyway, this is the second outfit. Love this. Definitely keeping this. Okay, the last one has to possibly be my favorite. It is so beautiful. I feel so classic in this. As you guys know, I'm changing up my style. And this is one of those outfits I can wear to work and then out to a party or somewhere. I feel absolutely beautiful. I love this neck. I love the length of it. It's very classic. It's super warm. It's like a big cozy sweater and you can style it with a little belt if you wanted to put a little belt here or maybe even just a very small little shawl of some sort, kind of like if it's spring or winter, you could dress this up. But this is one of the most beautiful items I think I've ever received from Stitch Fix. It is so pretty. I wish you guys could try it on. So that is the last of my Stitch Fix haul for January. I can't wait to show you the rest for the rest of the year. 
Now that I'm done with the day, I had a little bit of extra time and I really wanted to start to declutter my closet a bit. So we are going to spend a little bit of time in my closet. I get to put all my new Stitch Fix things in here, but I have a lot of clothes that I don't wear. And because I mix um, this closet is all winter and fall stuff and then all of my spring stuff is in the garage I am actually going to get rid of half of everything so half of my spring stuff and half of my winter stuff and I'm going to put everything in this one closet towards the end of this video I'll sh tell you a little bit about how we're going to build out the closet that will be going in here because it's going to be kind of a major construction project and I just finished the bathroom I feel like when you do your own projects it always takes a lot longer because we aren't paying someone to come in and and actually do the work we're doing it ourselves so we do it when we aren't working so it's taking a really long time to get some of these projects um, up going and done so for now I want to uh, kind of declutter my closet and then I am going to list some of these items on Poshmark but I'll show you everything that I take out So I've taken out all of this stuff. This is stuff that I would like to sell. Um, a lot of this stuff is like expensive and many of it, uh, these items still have tags on them. I just haven't had a chance to wear them or they just don't fit me anymore. And then here are a couple things I want to get rid of. So what I'm going to do now is do one more pass through here. Again, the goal today is to edit 50% of this down, which I feel like we're doing a pretty good job. Um, you know, just seeing like 50% on each of these. And then I just, I lost this. I bought, um, I usually keep most of the stuff I get from Stitch Fix. I get Stitch Fix and so do my girls. Um, it just really helps keep their closets fresh and with some cute things. Um, I don't always love the things from Target. Sometimes I find them a bit revealing. So I love that Stitch Fix, I can tell them about, um, like what I'm looking for and they can always send me great items. So Super happy I found that because I couldn't find it. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to, I'm going to take all this stuff, roll it out. I'm going to do one more pass through here, and then I'm going to start to pull shoes out. Once we're done with all of this, I am going to head over here. And I am going to open all of these. These are all bags of clothes from when we, I moved out of my old closet and we were gutting this bathroom area, which is still, um, <laughs> we're still in the process of doing. Um, we took some time off for the holiday, obviously. Um, but most of this um, is dry now, so they can come in and hang the doors and whatnot, but we're not in any rush. So then we'll go through these bags. I'm gonna edit all of these down. A lot of these items are actually uh, spring items, but, and I love them, but like this dress is Reformation. It was probably like 250 bucks, but it's just not really age appropriate for me. So we're going to slowly start to pull that type of stuff out. Um, once we're done with that, I'm going to re, uh, sign up for Poshmark and I'm going to start loading clothes onto that app. I'm just going to come over here. We're going to grab one item. This is a beautiful beachy coat. I used to wear a lot more when I was in real estate. I don't now. I typically will check the pockets to make sure 
I didn't leave something in them. I don't know. I never even opened these pockets, so that's great. I'm gonna put it here on a hanger that has a twisty. And then I'll just get it centered so whoever's viewing it can see. Make it look nice. Sometimes I'll style it with like a little pair of pants or something of that nature, but um, I really just wanna showcase the item more than anything. And then uh, I can also go on the app to see how much this was. I know they're sold out of this. It sold out super fast. It's really beautiful. I can't stare at it too long because I don't want to keep it. But <laughs> let's go ahead and start with the app. So all you have to do is grab your phone, sell an item, make sure my screen is clean. And we're just going to take some photos of this item. This is like a detail of the button. And... Um, and turn it around. Back. Oh. And the last thing I like to always show is the um, material. So with a little tag here, it will tell you exactly what kind of material it is. So if somebody's looking for that, I don't have to waste my time typing it in. It says it right there. I also have in there as well. So once that's done, you're going to do details. This is a tweed blazer. Um, quantity, I have one size. It's an extra small. Brand is Vici. And color is cream and white. New with tags, no. Style tags, classic. So once you're done with that, the original price on this was $90. I'm gonna sell mine for 45. And next, list, and you're done. If you guys want to order any of this, you can do that. But otherwise, I'm gonna put a movie on and we're just gonna do <laughs> some Poshmarking. Okay, so here's a pile of stuff that I put on Poshmark. Here is a pile of stuff I'm going to donate, donate, and I still have to go through all that. I should be able to get most of that organized. Most of this is summer stuff, but again, I'm gonna try to go back through and really edit it down because I don't wear a lot of that stuff. I also have that rack there too, but the goal is that everything I need for the year is in here. I'm gonna stop transitioning winter and summer closets and really try to be mindful about what I put in here because I think I have too much stuff and oftentimes I just end up not knowing what to do with it. So once we get done with that, we will go through all of this. I don't know if I'm gonna film that and then we'll come in here and I'll kind of show you how everything turned out. Okay guys, I'm officially done. I moved all of the bags that I'm giving away out here. Whoa. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bags. I bet there will be more. I have a bunch of decor that I'm also giving away. Um, I always give all of my stuff away to one person. Charlotte changed her bed, so I'm also giving away my, that mattress because we've only had it for a very short time. And then I'll take you guys down here. Everything is looking so clean all the clothes out and here's how it looks so what used to be in this closet was only winter stuff and I had about nine bags of summer stuff 
and I got rid of half of both. So this is a year's worth of clothes in one closet. In my opinion, it is still too much stuff, but I feel like there's so many different events and things that go on here. Um, and we travel quite a bit, so we'll see. I might edit it down a little bit more, but I kept a little variation of colors. Um, I just have a couple sweaters down here, jackets, short sleeve stuff. I just ordered a ton of stuff from Halara, and I haven't tried it on yet, so I have it over here to make sure, <laughs> sure that it fits before I keep it, but I've just been loving their stuff. I wanted to get some, they have like um, pants and stuff for work that are amazing. I already have been wearing their um, workout pants for quite some time, and I just wanted to try a couple different um, other things they do, and then, and then I just have my morning robes here, but that's everything for today. We finally have this edited way down. It's a not a huge space. I know it, it probably looks like it's much larger on screen, but it's actually not a huge space. So um, even when we do build this all in, because I'm not utilizing any of this space, the kids threw their toys up there. They said it was an accident, but it seemed too, too good of a shot to be an accident. Uh, but once we kind of utilize this, this whole wall could probably fit the rest of this stuff if I did doubles. So we'll, we'll end up seeing how it works out. But for now, it felt really good to get rid of a bunch of stuff that I obviously um, don't need. And it is super late, so I'm going to head off to bed. But thank you guys for joining me on today's video and decluttering and getting my <laughs> closet nice and organized for... A brand new phase of my life. I can't wait to show you guys how it turns out. But everything is tucked away and I cannot wait to show you guys what happens in the next video because we have a lot of things changing this year. Okay, off to bed. Bye. Breathe.